In this video, we're going to take a look at the Autodesk Labs Project Falcon for Inventor 2013. Here we'll start a Falcon simulation, adjust some simulation variables, and also capture some simulation visuals from the environment. So here I have a little car, Pinewood Derby car. Thank my son for this one. So we got a standard model. This Falcon installer will work inside the assembly mode as well as the part mode. We will find it up on the Environments tab. So here we have the Falcon simulation. It's like a multicolored bird for the icon. When we start, start the uh, simulation environment, it immediately starts producing the flow lines. We don't even have time to start it, it just goes ahead and does it for us. So we can adjust this now, real time, between 2D and 3D simulation, we can adjust this for flow lines as well. We can also adjust our bounding box and a lot of other variables. We'll take a look at some of those. First of all, let's up the count. Let's make some more flow lines. So up on that results panel, I'll go ahead and hit the flow lines, increase the value on this wheel. You'll find that type of wheel to be proliferated throughout this environment. Maybe increase the size. Again, we see that wheel again. And we can increase or decrease the size of the lines. Adjust our count here again. Notice this is all happening real time. There's no pause. There's no uh, stop of the flow. You can also change the color right on the fly. So here we'll switch over to a, a red, uh, blue, yellow type. You can also rotate the model without having fear of it having to restart. We'll just constantly keep going. So with this we can tell where our drag is, where our uh, velocity drops would, would perhaps be that would cause a drag on this car. This is really nice for upfront in the front end of the conceptual design stage where you want to just kind of get an idea for you know the uh, the wind tunnel effects you might have for particles for uh, moving through air before you start getting into a more finalized design shape. So here we'll increase and decrease the speed. Change our velocities. You can also adjust flow direction, the resolution of this as well. Let's up the resolution. There's a lot more details about all these settings on the Autodesk Wiki help page as well. So you can see here you can also adjust the domain size. It's actually one of the first things you usually have to do. I had already pre-adjusted my domain size. You can check between velocity and pressures. And lastly, over here to the right, we can see that we can capture images as well as record video. Now, if we do the record video function, it does record it out to an AVI format. We do have to pick a uh, compressor like we do with a presentation file. So here you can see AVI. I'm actually going to cancel this here, and it's going to tell me it didn't create the video. That's fine. but What's nice about that video capture is it takes place real time. So if I were to switch back and forth between different views to rotate it, to look at another side of the piece, that video will record my movements inside the environment. So here we're looking at a 2D simulation now. So here basically just lays it flat. You can see the disturbance around the car as well as behind the wheels. So just another way to visualize it. You can see air coming in from the front of the car, underneath the wheels. I'll go back here to 3D simulation. Take a look at some of the other types of flow lines we can use. 
So we can do a shaded, points, vectors, particles. We can do a grid. A lot of those are flat. Uh, particles here will actually be not flat, as you can see. Uh, basically showing particle going past the car and where it would reside beyond it. So we can up the particle count here as well, but I'm just going to stick with it about this size. You can see where some of the particles are lagging when they hit the car. And we'll go back to a flow line. All right. Lastly, one of the nicest things you can do here is also change your color styles or your visual styles while you're inside this environment. And I finally have found a use for watercolor. I really like this kind of look of the flow lines going off of the car. Makes it look a lot more artistic. My son agreed with me, so that's all that matters. Uh, wireframe with visible edges only, shaded with the shaded edges. Just make sure you don't use monochromatic or ray tracing, anything that uses the ray tracing engine, because that will try to recalculate the ray tracing for each flow line as it updates. So bad news there for realistic and monochromatic. Let's just try to avoid them. So here we look at from the front. This is just a fantastic add-in that doesn't cost you anything. But it gave me some cool points with my son, and that's always good as well. 